Yesterday we were discussing about the chapter 21 Lata Mangeshkar in her own voice the chapter in which the content is uh, the part of an interview which is taken by Nasri Munni Kabi to Lata Mangeshkar and uh, we have discussed some of the conversation in the previous class today again I will continue with the conversation and in the last class we have discussed that how focused or concentrated Lata Mangeshkar was for her songs when she sings. So uh, to the question she, she replied that she uh, provides her full concentration to all the songs. So after that uh, the interviewer said your focus and concentration is indeed formidable. The meaning of formidable is given here worthy of respect. Means the way, the focus, the attention that she pays, the devotion uh, of Lata Mangeshkar towards her job, towards the singing is really something that we should respect. I don't know many people who listen so attentively and are as alert as you. So this was uh, not a question, this was just an appreciation by the interviewer for the singer Lata Mangeshkar. So on hearing this Lata Mangeshkar smiles. Then the next question comes from the interviewer. How do you manage singing in other languages? Means all of you must be aware that Lata Mangeshkar uh, sang the song not only in Hindi but in so many other languages. So it's not possible for each and every individual to learn so many languages or to have the knowledge of so many languages. So how did she manage to do that? To sing the song in other language which she is not familiar with. To this question, Lata Mangeshkar replied, I first listen to someone who speaks the language and who reads the lyrics to me. I pay great attention to pronunciation. Once I hear the words spoken, I write the song lines phonetically in Hindi and then sing. To this question, Lata Mangeshkar replied that she used to listen the person who speaks the language. Suppose if she has to uh, sing a song in Bengali, so she will listen to a person who knows Bengali well, who can speak Bengali. She listens to the pronunciation of the words. You know that all of us have different accent of speaking. Even if we are pronunciating the same word, the way of the pronunciation is different by the people of different language by the people who speak different languages. So she listens to the uh, pronunciation attentively and the lyrics. If she is not able to read the lyrics of the other language, if the song is in some other language, there is someone who reads the lyrics for her and she listens to all those things attentively and then she writes the lyrics phonetically in Hindi. Phonetically in Hindi and then she sings. What is meant by phonetically in Hindi? Phonetically in Hindi means you just write those letters in Hindi. Suppose if in English I am writing this is my Back. And when I will write same sentence phonetically in Hindi, I am not going to translate it. I will write it phonetically in Hindi. So how will I write it? This is what is meant by writing something phonetically in other language. Phonetic writing phonetically does not mean the translation. 
but you simply write the pronunciation of the word in your language which is familiar to you so that when you want to read it what is required for the singing what one does in the singing one reads the lyrics with some music and tune that is singing so she what she used to do she used to write the song whatever the other language it is she listens to the words and write it phonetically in hindi and then she sang then the next question from the interviewer is how many languages do you know lata mangeshwar la and then she replied marathi urdu a little punjabi i can understand sanskrit i have also learned bengali i tried learning tamil too i can read and write a little but speaking tamil is extremely difficult so the languages that are mentioned here are marathi urdu punjabi sanskrit bengali and tamil for which the lata mangeshwar has some knowledge not completely that she uh, may not be very fluent or as fluent in all these languages as she is in hindi but she has the knowledge of all these languages because she sings the songs in all these languages now the next question from the interviewer is you are quite a linguist what triggered your curious curiosity for languages now after listening the answer from the lata mangeshkar that she has the knowledge of a number of languages so she said you are quite a linguist linguist is the one who has the knowledge of foreign languages foreign languages means uh, other than the language which you use uh, you know properly or usually used to have the conversation with the people which is not your mother tongue and if you know the uh, languages other than your mother tongue that is linguist so here she asked what triggered you triggered you means what motivated you how the curiosity for learning the other languages developed in you lata mangeshkar replied in 1946 i was working for a film called subhadra shanta apte was the star of subhadra we sang a song together and she told me she has recorded a song in tamil i was very young maybe 15 or 16 but when i heard her say that i thought to myself i must learn other languages to so i can sing in many languages now the question from the interviewer was that how she developed her curiosity towards other languages so for that uh, lata mangeshkar replied that in 1946 she uh, sang a song with shanta apte for a movie named subhadra and there the singer shanta apte uh, told lata mangeshkar that she has she had also recorded a song in tamil language so from there her curiosity developed that if she will learn other languages also sing the songs of other languages now the next question you have an unusual curiosity a thirst for knowledge and determination to better yourself how many how many languages do you now sing in now again there were some words of appreciation from the interviewer for the lata mangeshkar that she has the unusual curiosity determination to work better that how she can improve her work every day 
we all know that she is a wonderful singer she got a bharat ratna the highest civilian award that is given to an indian citizen so but in spite of that she always tries to put more effort to perform better so then uh, now the interviewer asked that presently in how many languages are singing the songs or you can sing the song lata mangeshkar replied 36 and at this answer both the interviewer and lata mangeshkar laughed that at present she can sing the songs in 36 languages i have sung in every indian language and also in dutch russian fijian swahili and english so she told that she has sung songs in all the indian languages and also in some foreign languages such as dutch russian fijian swahili and english the next question from the interviewer for the lata mangeshkar is i have listened to the wonderful double album lata mangeshkar live at the royal albert hall london dilip kumar introduced you as his little sister with a voice that defies description and definition defies description and definition the meaning is given here beyond all expectations something that you cannot expect something that you cannot imagine you also performed later at medicine square garden did you find a difference between audiences in the uk and us the two names that are mentioned here are the very prestigious names and um, it is an honor for any of the artists if he or she gets an opportunity to perform at these two places the first one is royal albert hall london which is in uk and the second one is medicine square medicine square garden at us so lata mangeshkar got the opportunity to perform at both the places and at royal albert hall dilip kumar introduced lata mangeshkar as her little sister and who uh, the uh, performance or uh, you can say the talent of the person as a little sister whose talent is beyond the expectation of the people so here the question from the interviewer is that you perform at both the places in us and uk so do you find any difference at uh, the response from the people at both these places lata mangeshkar replied things have changed now but i think audiences in the uk were one she said that now the things have changed but she liked or she said that she got no warm response from the audience of uk as compared to the audience of us means she got better response at royal albert hall london next question from the interviewer is in 1974 you were presented with a gold disc by emi for being the most recorded artist in the world you were the first indian artist to receive the gold disc in 1979 you performed again at the royal albert hall this time with the red orchestra led by ed wills how was it experience for you she got a gold disc which was presented by emi which was also an honor which was given to lata mangeshkar in 1974 for she was the indian artist who sang the highest number of songs most recorded songs so she received it and again 
He performed at the Royal Albert Hall in 1979 and this time with a very famous orchestra known as Rain Orchestra. So uh, the interviewer is asking how was your experience about receiving that honor or performing with Rain Orchestra. Lata Mangeshwari replied, it was wonderful. I sang many songs including Meera's Pachits. She said it, the uh, experience of uh, performing with the band was very good and she also sang some of the bhajans by Meera. Next question from the interviewer is, do you think you are a happy person? Means sometimes we uh, can see the person, we uh, used to live with the person and we have something about their behavior, we know the things. The one who gets angry very easily, the one who does not get angry, someone who always, you will always see a person happy irrespective of the situation. Sometimes you find a person who is not happy, whatever is happening in the life, the one is ha in, in the habit of blaming others for that as we have discussed in chapter 18F. But, so, and but one must have the self-assessment that what kind of person you are, you should also know. So here that was the question from the interviewer that do you think you are a happy person? Nanda Mangeshwar replied, I have always been a positive person. What is meant by a positive person? The one who always thinks positively. Means if there is a problem, some of the individuals who think we cannot solve this. Some of the individuals, okay, this is not a big problem, we will find some solution and we will get out of this situation. So this is a positive attitude, this is called a positive person. There was not much time to be anything else. He said she is the positive person and she does not have time to be anything else.